Hey folks, this is Gary Gunn. Welcome to our shop tip. Sometimes we do one a week, sometimes we do two. But here's a story I want to relate to you. I hope your shop is not doing this. When I first moved to Bowling Green, Kentucky, I didn't know a shop owner, period. So what I did is I made a list of 10 things that I wanted a shop to be able to do for me. So I went out, drove into the shops, took my list out, sat down with the owner, and I said, I'm looking for a shop to do repairs for my vehicles, and I had 10 things I would go under with him to make sure, or her, that this was the shop I wanted to do business with. One shop told me that they were way too busy and they didn't need any business for me. Another shop owner told me that the, the computer sitting on his desk <laughs> didn't even function. He just had it there for looks. Another shop owner here in town asked me if I was from here. And if I wasn't from here, then they didn't have any openings to work on my car. As I was looking for those shops here in Bowling Green, I got the darndest answers I've ever heard. So when someone walks into your shop that you don't recognize, or their first time customer, or they've just moved into the neighborhood, or they just moved into your marketing area. Make sure you have your staff totally trained on how to engage with that potential customer. So we know a lifetime customer to you is probably worth about ten to $15,000 in repairs over the lifetime of their vehicle. So folks, I want you to understand that the first time customer is like going on a first time date. And you've got to warm up to them and make sure that they are implanted and going to come back and come back and come back and come back. So there's some questions you can ask them. In the other repair shops that you did business with, what did they do that you liked? Put it in their notes. Then another question could be, what were the things you didn't like about the prior shop you did business with? Put those in the notes. And then the final question would be, what's the one thing that we can do for you that will have you keep coming back and back and back and be a lifetime customer for us. Those are some tidbits. Those are some shop tips that you might want to think about. One more quick little excerpt here. We got a ticket, a, a, a card in the mail that said you get a free oil change because you're a new, uh, uh, let's say you just moved in. So my wife took her car to get the oil change done. She got to the shop. They performed the oil change. They didn't create an RO. They didn't get her name. They didn't get her phone number. They didn't get any information from her at all. So she went there, spent all that money to get her there, gave her a free oil change, and never took any information down. So I would say these are pretty dumb operations. So let me tell you, it's important that you get a game plan on for every new client, everybody that you're inviting into your business. Those are called pathways. That's a shop tip. Thank you for being here. This is Gary Gunn, Showcase Mentoring. We do assessments. We do checkups on your business. Please give us a call, 270-282-1262, or you can go to our website, or you can go to our YouTube channel, or you can go to our podcast. It's up to you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll be back again with another shop tip.